G'day kids, Mr. Bailey here, and I've got little Mr. Bailey with me today as well. Uh, today we're going to do something that I really love doing, and that is playing board games. I really like playing board games. And so Levi and I are going to play a board game, and the board game is called Guess Who. Does anyone know this game, Guess Who? It's a great one, isn't it? I used to play it at uni, Extreme Guess Who, where you had to make questions that weren't um, based on appearance. You had to um, make judgments about them. <laughs> it was really inappropriate. <laughs> We'd get in big trouble these days. Anyway, unfortunately, I haven't come prepared well. Um, I've only got one board and I've only got one card. So um, that's lack of preparation on my part, but it also means that whoever's guessing is going to win. So I'm going to guess and you're going to be my answerer, okay? So that's your card, okay? So I'll flip all my things up. Are you ready? Sure? Yeah. Do you have a look at your person. Do you know, do you know who it is? Y you all right? Okay, okay, here we go. Um, is your person a man? Oh, good start. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Um, does your person have hair on their head? Good, we'll knock down Bernard and that one and that one and that one and that one. Okay, uh, let's go with, uh, does your person have brothers yeah. and sisters? <laughs> I haven't even finished the question. Brothers and sisters? Uh, yes. Oh, good, okay, 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 good. Yeah, good. Um, oh, man. Um, does your person, let's talk about his father for a moment. Uh, did his dad, was he like a labourer, maybe a carpenter, maybe <gasps> carpenter? Oh, yes. Knock down that one. His dad's a mechanic. That one's a teacher. Yep, okay. Um, oh, maybe, has he come from a small town? Born in a small yeah. town, maybe Bethlehem. Are you sure? You said yes before I even said the town name. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, they're from Sydney, where you are. No. Uh, okay. Oh, I've got two left. Oh my goodness, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. Um, let's go with, uh, did this person have powers, maybe do miracles? Miracles? Yes, I've got it, I know who it is. I think it's Jesus. Yes. Yes, I had it right, I had it right, I win. Kids, do you know in the Bible reading today, you're going to hear... Uh, Jesus go back to his hometown and they're all going to ask these same sort of questions I asked, maybe not about the hair, but the other ones like, isn't this the guy who's like Mary's son, doesn't he have the brothers and sisters, um, isn't he from this place, you know, um, they were quite familiar with this guy Jesus, they knew him, they grew up with him in his hometown, but they didn't really get the big picture, did they, they didn't really know who he was, I mean they got... They knew him so well that they almost got offended by him. In fact, they did. It says that in the Bible there. Um, that's something that can happen. But we know, don't we? We get reminded every Sunday when we come along to church that Jesus is more than that. He is the Son of God, the one who was sent to save us. And we heard in that reading from John that he's been around since the beginning. And that's a great reminder. So let's not get complacent and we'll go, oh, yeah, we just know who Jesus is. Let's remember that we really know who Jesus is, the one who saved us. So let's pray about that now. You ready to pray? Yes, good. All right. Hey, God, thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you that he was super important, that he is super important. Help us to remember that, to not get complacent in how we think about him, but to always remember that he has saved us and to be thankful for that. In Jesus' name, amen.